The quest for a smartwatch replacement continues. Leading up to Christmas, a coin flip literally decided for me between adding this Skagen hybrid or a vector to my wish list, so we'll chalk this up as one of the luckier chance decisions I've made in recent memory. Truth be told, I was leaning towards the hybrid as I've been a fan of Skagen design in the past but never thrown in the cash to own one. Adding some nifty features to a simple, stylish watch face was just the push I needed, so I'm glad the coin flip worked out this way. The connected line of watches is a clean way to deliver basic notifications while tracking activity. A secondary dial on the face is multi-purpose, giving you a percentage of your step goal and offering four zones for notifications, which we'll talk about more in just a sec. A three buttons activate functions on the watch and can be customized for some simple phone controls. The whole affair is sealed up and powered by a single replaceable watch battery estimated to run for up to six months, though the more often this watch vibrates for alarms, the faster that battery will run down. This allows for a water resistance depth rating of up to three atmospheres, or roughly 30 meters. A very nice peace of mind feature there. It's a stainless steel casing, which thankfully doesn't interact with my skin issues, and the watch uses standard 20mm straps on quick-release pins to easily swap the band out for a replacement, all very traditional and watch-like in the best way possible. Using a low-power Bluetooth connection, the Skagen connects to an app on your Android or iOS device for managing watch features and fitness tracking. The watch face is so simple, you'll be using your phone to get to all of your options and controls. There are three buttons on the watch, the top shows you the date, the middle button can toggle between time zones and your alarm, and the bottom button is user customizable. It can be used as a leash to locate your phone or as a toggle for a music player, which is what I've set mine to do. In the app, you can set your activity goal, and then as you move around, you'll see your progress here. The opposite side of the dial points to four regions. In the app, you can select up to six people and up to six apps to correspond with those four regions. And when you feel a vibration and look at which region the arm points to, you'll know which alert you're receiving. A somewhat important drawback to the system, there's an odd collection of apps which are compatible. It doesn't seem to support every app installed on your phone, so this is definitely an area where we hope the developers can expand support in the future. As it stands now, it's an interesting exercise in forcing the user to simplify their digital lifestyle. I don't believe Skagen really approached these limitations with any kind of philosophy, but it did force me to examine what I considered mission-critical communication. Now, this isn't the kind of watch I would normally wear as a fitness tracker. Spoiler alert, we'll soon be checking out a Huawei Fit. But adding activity and sleep tracking to a nice watch is a nice touch. A minor concern here that the Skagen seems to slightly overestimate activity. We'd never recommend using a product like this for medical grade tracking, but this watch consistently delivered about 100 extra steps per thousand when compared to my Misfit Ray. Uh, totally helpful for tracking your general trends though, the connected app will sync with Google Fit, Up by Jawbone, or Under Armour's Record. Lastly, the system could use a little polish with Android 7. I'd regularly open the app on my phone to find the connection between the watch and the phone had been severed. The app seems to be shuffled off when in the background, and ignoring battery optimizations on my V20 helped keep the connection alive with more consistency. Not necessarily the fault of the developers, but this should be addressed during the watch setup or app installation. You need to be able to trust a wearable notification system. So let's wrap this up. Where's that leave us with the Skagen Connected? I'm really glad I took this gadget out for a spin, and it'll easily take over the duties as my dress-up watch. Where my Pebble was a jeans and a t-shirt daily driver, a digital plastic swatch watch which fit in perfectly with a hoodie, the Skagen will now complement dress shoes and an ironed button-up shirt. Evenings where I'm dressed up like that are usually social, and my awareness for every little online interaction is usually a lower priority. Uh, plus, this comes with the benefit of blending in wonderfully, it's just a nice looking watch. And even if some of these issues aren't ever properly addressed, I still get to wear an attractive timepiece. In a world where vinyl is outselling digital downloads, this Skagen is elegantly analog. But I still don't feel like I've found my daily driver all-in-one master of notifications and background health tracking. So the search continues. As always, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more wearable coverage like this and help us out with some social media sharing. For Pocket Now, I'm Juan Carlos Bagnell, some gadget guy on Twitter and Instagram, and I will catch you all on the next review.